Hello fellow travelers, Donna Spencer with Lucre Journeys here with another location history in five minutes or less. Today I thought we would cover the underestimated but oh so beautiful Juneau, Alaska. Starting in the 18th century, Russia laid claim to the territory of Alaska. However, halfway through the following century, uh, Russia's colonization of the area was thin on the ground to say the least, so the Tsar opted to sell it. In 1867, the United States purchased Alaska from Russia for the whopping cost of $7.2 million, which roughly translated into two cents an acre. At the time though, the media portrayed this as Stewart's folly, Stewart's icebox, or Andrew Jackson's polar bear garden. Coey was a Clinket Native American whose name means it is cooked. It is a very prestigious name in the Clinket culture. Coey was living in his village when he heard George Flitz's offer of a hundred Hudson Bay blankets and work for the tribes for every commercial gold discovery. It's not sure how many trips Kohi made but he, to Sitka, but he did make quite a few, bringing specimens to George that were full of gold and lead ore. Kohi then had the opportunity to serve as a policeman during the Navy years. And in this picture, you can see him in his police uniform with his gold star. He was highly regarded and respected by the residents and the miners in the area, and was even referred to as Chief Kohi in his obituary after he died. With gold being struck in the headwaters of Cold Creek in 1880, it wasn't long until settlements started to appear and form along the channel, which eventually became Juneau. Juneau then became the capital of the territory of Alaska in 1906. At the time, gold mining emphasized large construction, hard, uh, hard rock mining instead of the traditional stream pan mining that was happening in Skagway. The city, which had been laid out in 1880 and became a city or the capital of the Alaska Territory in 1906, was because of the governmental movement or the government move from Sitka to Juneau in 1906. But the first territorial legislation wasn't held until 1913. In 1916, the Juneau Alaska Gold Mine was built. It ceased to operate in 1944, but gold was mined on Douglas Island until 1917 when a cave-in and flood caused the closure of the Treadwell Mine. However, gold mining really did kind of fade out in the 1920s. By 1920, Juneau had become the largest city in Alaska, only to be beat out by Anchorage in 1950. After statehood, the city saw a huge growth spike as the government became more established in Juneau. Fishing and tourism, especially cruising as they ply the insides passage there, has become a major supporter of Juneau and Alaska as a whole. Or, uh, lead or, geez Louise, can I mess that up any further? Force them to shut down the tread wheel, tread, treadmill? How far back am I going here? Oh, good lord, it wasn't even going. 